Tony Robbins has a quote that I really like a lot and it's pain is part of life, suffering is optional. Now what that means to me is that pain, variety, contrast, those, those experiences that sort of throw you out of your tree, they happen to everybody. It's natural, it's meant to be like that. In fact, we couldn't expand, the world couldn't evolve if we didn't have those contrasting experiences. You wouldn't be able to see these beautiful plants behind me, this red, because it's a contrasting color to the white of the wall. So we really need that contrast, it's part of life. I remember when I first accepted that, that statement that pain is part of life. And so instead of trying to push against things that were happening that were really upsetting to me, I decided to accept it as being a natural part of life. That was a really great breakthrough for me. But the other part of his quote is, suffering is optional. Now what that means to me is, that I don't have to keep focusing on that painful experience. I don't have to keep talking about that problem. I don't have to keep activating that, that thing that really upset me or hurt me or somebody, that somebody else did. So what it also means to me in the context, let's say a relationship, <laughs> because I'm having a beautiful one of those. <laughs> Every relationship has its contrast. What we're finding is really useful is first of all, both Stephen and I have at the foundation of our belief system, we have a very strong spiritual connection. So for me, that means that my priority is to get myself back into alignment with my source, with my beliefs, with my happy place, to get back into that place where I feel empowered, where I feel settled, where I feel balanced, where I feel at ease. Now for Stephen, he calls it something different. It's his spiritual connection too, but he says he likes to get back to love. So he brings himself back to love, brings himself back to that loving place. And he is one hugely loving man. It's a beautiful practice that he has and also Know that he does a lot of meditation so it's really easy for him to use meditation as a way to settle into that loving place something that i like to do that works really well for me too is to not talk about the problems because every time we're talking about the problems while we're in the problem we keep on activating the problem. In fact, the more energy you put towards the problem, the more it causes that suffering that Tony Robbins talks about. So I'm really careful. I actually like to be quieter. In those times of turmoil, sometimes I like to go off by myself. If we're sitting in the space together or if we're video calling or phone calling, whatever it might be, and we're in the same space together, I actually like to now bring myself back to a more of a quiet, sort of place while I'm going through that turmoil, that inner turmoil, which let's remind ourselves again, is a natural part of life. It's a natural part of growth. I've got something really interesting to say at the end of this, the benefit of contrast. But that turmoil that we go through, it's a natural part of growth. You can't get close to somebody who just floats along with you. I mean, that sort of gets a little bit boring after a while. But what really brings people together is when you move through that contrast together. Now we're finding our way through contrast. And the thing that serves us the most, number one, we always come back to that love or to that alignment. So we know how important that state is for any relationship, to sustain any relationship, but even just to sustain ourselves. There's no point focusing on some situation out in the world that we can't do anything about. There's no point focusing on that and letting it get us down because we have far more value to give to the world when we're in an aligned, happy, beautiful, fun-loving, loving, appreciative state. So one of the things that I like to do, which I just mentioned before, is to stay fairly quiet and because I don't want to add fuel to the fire with words. Sometimes, you know, you say things that you regret in the heat of the moment. So for me, I like to be really quiet. I need to train myself again to be a little bit quieter in texts too, because that's the same as words. So I need to be a little bit quieter. I need to just take a few deep breaths, bring myself back into a settled enough place where I can continue 
continue a conversation, if that conversation even needs to be had. Because often, by the time when we brought ourselves back into alignment, we always re realise that we were talking about the same thing. We already agreed, but we were just perceiving it in different ways. So really, contrast is such a beautiful thing because one of the things that was born out of our first sort of major lot of contrast that we went to was a fantastic idea for a business. So, you know, that sort of idea might have come to us in three months time. Well, we, we came to it really quickly as a, as, a, as a way to actually bring ourselves back into alignment, bring our relationship back into alignment. Stephen made me a really, really beautiful recording to help me come back into to that happy place when I need it and he's not around. So it was just a really beautiful thing to do and I've shared that on my timeline with other people and other people are getting benefit from that too. It's a really lovely thing. So that is the benefit of contrast. I mean, have you noticed that after you go through contrast, like you can have a really major t period of turmoil in your life and then all of a sudden there's sunshine and roses and lollipops because the contrast is so necessary for growth and if we don't grow, we die. Last year before I started making these videos, I was just coasting People along. People would have looked at my life and thought it was the most ideal life. Live in a beautiful apartment, building over the water, don't have to work, can just do whatever I want every day. Have a really easy time, there's no conflict anywhere, um, nobody to argue with. Um, you know, it was a really, really what some people might consider to be an ideal life. But it was boring and I wasn't growing, I wasn't contributing anywhere, I wasn't contributing to the world in any greater sense. So contrast is a valuable thing. One of the things we're learning to say now, wow, I can't wait to find out what wonderful thing is going to come out of this contrast, because it always does, I guarantee you.